Captain James Rowe was born on the East Coast in 1836. He died in 1891 in Billings. He's buried here at Mount View Cemetery. There was a small headstone up for him with not a whole lot of information, but now there's a traditional military headstone for him. His family and some other Americans came by to honor him for his service during the Civil War. Thanks also to the past, the people of Billings, who marked and tended his grave. Descendants of Captain James Rowe help honor a man who served in the Union Army and infantry and as an ambulance officer. We learn about battles and casualties. What, what interests a lot of people when we start learning about him is the saving of lives. They were really instrumental in, in saving lives and in setting the format for future Army rescues and transfers. Susan Anderson's husband is Rowe's third great nephew. Captain Rowe is seen sitting in the center with his sword at his side. Other relatives also came to Billings, including Rowe's great great grandson. He was patriotic uh, and he volunteered and then he re-enlisted. So he wanted to go back in and uh, fight for his ideals, his country. The march of this soldier is over. The headstone rededication service was patterned after a Civil War memorial. I don't think this is the end of the line for Captain Rowe. This may be the beginning of a whole new chapter as people discover more. The captain's original headstone did show he was a Civil War veteran, and the new headstone tells much more. And so General Orders said, we will reorganize this, we can do better. And the end part is that the wounded will be transported with care. And the family is proud of Captain Rowe serving his country. His men really loved him. He really is somebody that we should recognize and cherish. In Billings, David J. MTN News.